Oh, you guys, how it's going? Here's my Gaga Gar rank up deck profile for the Gaga Gar tools you saw the other day. The reason why I make this deck because I want to go into the high ranks. He's like number C9, Lord Ultimate Trainer, and others such as him. But it's mainly just for these two and probably Sky. I call it Sky Pass, I don't know why. But it's Mirage Fortress Enterprise now. Anyway, I'll go through the monsters. I play the three da da dos instead of the go go goes. This ain't like normal gaga gars. As I said, it's rank up. So, two, d two, three da dos. They're just basically in here for that. For the draw card, just to discard one draw two. Basically, basically a destiny draw. That's what it's in there for. Three Gagars, three Gagagar girls. Pretty staple, in my opinion. If you're running a guy with that, you're always going to run three. I run three kid. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. But you have to run it at times. It's just. It's just. A, I hate it a lot. But anyway, on to the best. Arguably the best Gagagar monster. Gagagar sister. Search a spell or trap. Basically, your Gargaga Majesty Network and your Gargaga Revenge. Hopefully, they get more spells and traps. I think they have got a fair few anyway, but I think they should just get more better ones. That's my opinion anyway. But it's just it's just good for opening this and getting Magician Grave from that card. I can't say that name. On a, on a whatever. Basically, you can make Mirage Fortress first turn and banish it. That's why sometimes I like going first in this deck because you don't get the draw. But they're going to draw the exact same cards as you if you can manage to get this out because you're going to banish one. But anyway, this card I can't pronounce this name, so I'll just call it this card. <laughs> Basically, you just card one, add up two monsters. Gotta be different though, so that's why you play the Dodo Dos, especially for that as well. But if it was the same, you know, this card would arguably be too good. One belt, cause why not? Free emergency network, really good card. Got no monsters, and you need one special summon one. As already explained, the draw just basically for the Dodo Dos, free rank up magic. Chaos Force. This card, I like. It. I like it a lot. As you can see, it's, the extra deck's random. I mean, you change the extra deck as much as you want to. But I just run it for the for the high rank X Y Z monsters. Two MC for back row. Obviously, back row hurts. Free my body of shield again for back row. But there has been times I must say when it's a compulse. It's like, oh really? <laughs> But I suppose that's Yu Gi Oh's. Free Revenge. Basically, your Call of the Haunted on steroids. I mean, that 300 attack for all XYZs, it's just it's so good. You wouldn't think it's that good, but honestly, it is really good. I mean, it makes your 101, for example, a 24 beater. My thing is irrelevant, but still, it's just really good. Really good card, as I say, call the hunt in on steroids. That one compulse. Compulsing everything, as I know someone would say. Three free chains. Don't have the same mix as two chains, but three chains and the ones on warning. You could run any kind of back row if you wanted. But again, this is random. This is literally just a Gaga Gar deck. I've changed it a little bit. Obviously put the Dodo Do, -do, -do engine instead of the Go Go Goes. Took out a couple of cards and put in rank up magic chaos force. Yeah, so it's a pretty random deck. It can obviously it's got consistent issues, but you could probably edit it out with a few cards here and there. Here on to the extra deck again this this is just random. I just made this randomly. One cowboy, one exit tonight, two one oh ones. I was originally playing the um, 
I'll get out for you. This one, the rank up magic. It's that one. I don't know why, because I never got into rank fours, but chaos number one hundred one is just so bloody good. It is so good. It's like number one and one on steroids. <laughs> yeah, these are just random. I just go for them. Mainly, the deck is for these four cards. I know this ain't a Chaos XYZ, but it's just such a good card on its own. In my opinion, if you've got a Gargar deck, you have to put this card in. You have to. It's so good. It's not Ouroboros, wherein you do one effect, you can't use it again. You can use any of these effects once per turn. It's good. It's just so good. And it banishes, so against decks that, you know, like, Bills, these, the, uh, the three... 1000 synchro dragon monster that cannot be destroyed by battle by card effects <laughs> this laughs at it so yeah I just like this card a lot as I said if you're running a cargo deck play this card as for these two these were just the best ones in my opinion I could find you could I probably will make someday make a gimmick public deck because they seem to go into the high rank XYZ's a lot but this one is Coach Lord Ultimate Trainer, so Chaos XYZ for the. Is it Lord. Ro, is it Row Trainer? I can't remember. But anyway, let's just go through it as well. This cannot be targeted by card effects. It's so. That, that effect is okay, but you just. I'd rather have that it can't be destroyed by card effects, and that's, that'd be so much better. 3800, I mean, that's decent. <sighs> if this card has an XYZ monster as an XYZ material, it gains a fallen effect. Once per turn, you detach one material from this card, draw one card, and reveal, and if it was a monster, inflict 800 damage to your life points. So you get a free draw if it's a monster. They take 800 damage. Meh. Yeah. Alright effect, I guess, but I just mainly get him out for his 3800 beta, and sometimes for the draw one card. Because you know what you go is advantage for days, and to argue, one of my favourite chaos number monsters is Chaos Dyson Spear. This card, I just like this card so much. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles and opponent's monster, you can attach that monster to this card as a face-up XYZ material. That is like yeah, quality. Once per turn, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each material attached to this card. I've seen I've seen a video once where he, this guy had 10, 10 XYZ materials. It was bloody funny. And then once per turn, you can detach any number of XYZ materials from this card and inflict 800 damage to your opponent for each. So it's basically a burn card in a way. But also you have to have number 9 Dyson Spear as material. But you mainly don't bother about that effect. That effect, yeah, it's alright. You just mainly go for this effect. So, yeah. It's, it went on a little longer than expected that profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll, and I'll see you again. Laters.